This video is to help you to support your child when completing column addition as part of any home learning. Column addition is a written method of addition which is usually used when the numbers are too big to add in your head. Column addition can be used for numbers of different sizes and combinations. There are two types of column addition. One that is simple and requires no carrying or regrouping of a number into the next column. Then there is those that require carrying or regrouping of a number into the next column. As with most written methods of mathematics, it is a good idea to encourage your child to set out their work clearly and use square paper when possible. Column addition is very simple when the addition is set up correctly. Here we are adding two two-digit numbers. On all the examples, you can see the numbers have been arranged on top of one another so that the units and the tens line up. It doesn't matter which number is on the top or the bottom with addition, just as long as the numbers are lined up correctly. By using one number per square, this will reduce any confusion. On the first example, you can see 21 has been placed on top of 11. With any column addition, you always start with the number on the far right. In this case, the units. Sometimes it can help children to label the columns tens and units so they know where to start. So one add one is two, and you write that at the bottom. Two add one is three, and you write that underneath. The final answer is therefore 32. On the second example, again, start with the units. So four add two is six. Three add one is four. And the final answer is 46. On the last example, again, start with the units. 6 add 1 is 7. 1 add 2 is 3. So the final answer is 37. This second group of examples all contain regrouping. Although the way we approach the addition is exactly the same. The numbers are arranged on top of one another with the tens and units lined up accordingly. On the first example, we again start by adding the units of each number. So 8 add 3 equals 11. This is a two digit number, so we write the units of the number underneath, the 1, and carry the tens part, also a 1 in this case, to the next column. We then add the tens plus the carried 1, which equals 4. The final answer is 41. On the second example, we start by adding the units as usual. 8 add 6 is 14. We write the 4 underneath and carry the 1 to the next column. We then add the tens. 1 add 1 add 1 equals 3. The final answer is 34. On the last example, we add the units. So 9 add 5 is 14. We write the 4 underneath and carry the 1 to the tens column. We add the tens. 1 add 1 add 3 is 5. So the final answer is 54. Once your child has mastered column addition, they might be asked to apply this to decimal numbers or numbers that contain a unit of measurement. These are set up in exactly the same way with the parts of the number lined up accordingly. Here you can see £3.45 is to be added to £5.92. They are placed on top of one another with the decimal point lining up. On the second example, 1.67 metres is to be added to 6.19 metres. Again, the numbers have been placed on top of one another with the decimal point lined up. Like before, we start with the number over to the far right. It might be a good idea to get into the habit of putting the decimal point in exactly the same place as above before starting. So we start by adding 5 and 2, which is 7, we place underneath. Then we add 4 add 9, which is 13. We write the 3 underneath and carry the 1 into the next column. We then add 1 and 3 and 5, which makes 9. The final answer is £9.37. On the second example, we start over to the far right again. Don't forget to put the decimal point in exactly the same place as above in the answer. So 7 add 9 is 16. 
we write the 6 underneath and carry the 1. We then add 1, 6 and 1. This gives us the answer of 8. Then we go along and we add 1 and 6, which is 7. The final answer is 7.86 metres. As a final application of your child's knowledge, they may encounter more difficult questions which have mixed numbers. For example, £4.45 add 65p or 9.4 metres add 70 centimetres. The trick to achieving the correct answer for these types of questions is all in the setup. It will require your child to have a knowledge of how pounds and pence relate or how metres and centimetres relate. To start with, it is a good idea to change the numbers in the question to the same format. So 65 pence can be written as 0 0.65 pounds. Then it is easy to line up the decimal points and put the numbers on top of one another. So we write 4 pound 45, including the decimal point, add 0 0.65. It's a good idea to write the addition sign at the side to remind us that we're adding. Then we start exactly as we did before. 5 add 5 is 10. So we write the 0 underneath and carry the 1. 1, 4 and 6 makes 11. So we write the 1 and carry the 1 to the next column. 1, 4 and 0 make 5. Remembering the decimal point makes £5 and 10 pence. On the second question, 70 centimetres can be written as 0 0.7 metres. And it is always a good idea to make sure both numbers have the same number of decimal numbers. So we can write 9.4 metres as 9.40 metres. Now we are ready to write it out as a column addition. 9.40 add 0 0.70. Remember to include the unit of measurement so that you know what you're dealing with ready for the answer. So we start 0 add 0 is 0. 4 and 7 make 13. So we write the 3 underneath and carry the 1. 9 add 1 as 0 is 10, so we write that as 10.30 metres. Hopefully that video has been helpful in showing you how column addition is taught in school. Remember the trick to any home learning is to give as much encouragement and praise to your child to help them feel successful. If you have any further questions, please contact the school directly. Thank you.